glad you've made it this far. People with low functioning thyroids have often been dealing with the problem for years, been to many doctors, and may have been told that it's all in your head. My name is Dr. Jay Hobbs. I'm a chiropractic neurologist, board certified, and I've been studying nutrition and applying it to people since literally since I was in eighth grade. My desire is to help you. I know I'm in the right place doing the right thing. Let's find out if you're in the right place. So what's the problem? The problem is no one knows what's wrong with you. They say all the tests are normal. You may be on thyroid medication, but it isn't helping. And you know it. You can feel it. You're suffering and no one seems to believe you. Each year, sometimes each month, you feel less healthy. More systems in your body are dysfunctioning, and it's just attributed to age or depression. But you're not that old, and you wouldn't be depressed if someone could figure out what's going wrong with your body, right? Still, you wonder where you will be in five or ten years. What will, you help? what will your health be like? You're concerned about being there for your children, your grandchildren, or perhaps just enjoying retirement. There's some basics we should understand. There are six pathways involved in thyroid symptoms. And you notice I said thyroid symptoms. It's not always the thyroid gland. In fact, it's usually not. But number one is loss of thyroid gland activity. It's the only one that's appropriately addressed by thyroid medication without further contributing to the cause, unless you also address the cause. But it's usually addressed just with medication, but it's actually caused by autoimmunity, making it an immune problem, not primarily a thyroid problem. Number two is pituitary underfunction. Number three is thyroid hormone underconversion. Four is thyroid overconversion and decreased thyroid binding globulin. Number five, elevated thyroid binding globulin. And six, thyroid resistance. A lot of different causes, but only the first one is effectively addressed by thyroid hormone. So how do you know? Well, let's ask you a few questions. Are you taking Synthroid? Levothyroxine or Armour Thyroid? Do you feel better, the same, or worse after being on it for a few months or a few years? If you feel the same or worse, even if you had a temporary boost of symptoms or improvement of symptoms, one of the other six pathways is likely involved in your situation. So think of this like a light bulb. The light bulb is not shining. The light shining would be your good body function. The light may not shine because the bulb burned out, so you replace the bulb. That's pathway one. But it could also be the wire is damaged, the circuit breaker switch is flipped, the power company has an outage, or other causes. Well, how would they know what the cause is of the light bulb not shining? Well, they need to test for it, right? Same thing in your body. These are the things you're not testing for except in rare situations. But already you know that the reason why your thyroid hormone is not working is something probably other than cause number one. Otherwise you'd feel great, the days would feel bright and happy, and you wouldn't be watching this video. So the problem is the most common cause is not tested for. What is the most common cause? Well, it says on mayoclinic.com under hypothyroidism, quote, autoimmune disease, People who develop a particular inflammatory disorder, known as Hashimoto's thyroiditis, suffer from the most common cause of hypothyroidism. So why is it not tested if it's the most common cause? It's because it does not change the treatment. If you're going to give thyroid hormone, you're going to give thyroid hormone, regardless of the cause. So doctors don't test for it because they're not going to address the immune problem. But it should be addressed. It's the cause. And there's simple tests to find out if this is your cause. One's called TPO antibody, thyroid peroxidase. The other's TGB antibody, thyroid globulin antibody. Another part of the problem is that medications may actually be contributing to the cause. Again, from Mayo Clinic, I say, quote, however, in some cases, treatment of hyperthyroidism can result in permanent hypothyroidism. 
But let's say thyroid hormone is helpful and it's not causing more problems. Is it helping correct the cause? No. Now, hear me clearly, do not stop your medication without your prescribing doctor's approval. This is critical because hypothyroidism is serious. Left untreated, hypothyroidism increases the risk of miscarriages, premature delivery, and preeclampsia, as well as infertility. Not to mention the way it puts a huge dark cloud over your whole life and future. Many people with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome are actually dealing with this. It also may contribute to cardiovascular disease. In the Annals of Internal Medicine in the year 2000, they found that low normal thyroid function increases the risk of cardiovascular disease by 250%. That's even more than diabetes or smoking individually. So what can you do? Well, there are five steps you can take right now to improve thyroid function. Fill out the form on this page or give us a call. You will immediately be sent a PDF document called Five Steps You Can Take Right Now to Improve Thyroid Function. You'll also be sent in the mail a full-length DVD of Why Do I Still Have Symptoms If My Lab Tests Are Normal. This video is guaranteed to give you hope and will likely change your life. Finally, you're eligible for three complimentary visits to see if you qualify for this approach. Let's see if this is the solution for you. I hope this has given you some help. And I pray that your health 